Who can give me a definition of what a persuasive essay is? Sometimes the simplest things are hardest to explain. You know, like, what is language? What is a human being? I understand. Yes, ma'am, in the back. Can I try? Just try. Um, I appreciate your courage. Take out the paper, pen, and pencil. Pencil's okay, but I prefer uh, pen, but pencil's okay. When Ramonda came here, she had what you might call rudimentary speech. She could vocalize and produce some sounds, but it wasn't intelligible speech. Good. Ramona is a very unique young lady. She's an amazing young lady, actually. She's a very serious-minded person. She has a lot of things she's dealing with. She's not only uh, past the primary age of language when we met her because she was 11, and we say that if a child doesn't hear and learn to communicate between their three, four, or five, that language learning process is really, really difficult. I have been part happening here. I I don't know what happened for so deep So not only did she come from an Albanian background into an English speaking background, even though her school was in English here in the United States, her home life was still Albanian. Yeah. Same. Yes, My name is Edmund. Edmund Krasnici. And uh, 20 years, 22 years ago, I know Munda. You know, I'm Munda. Because it's my sister, you know, and I, I see she burn. She go in the doctor, she go in the, everywhere to look what's happened, you know. But shit happens, you know. It's not good for her. You have any, in a school, you have program? I don't know, the, uh, you know, to the book, yes. sometimes you write yes. too much? Yes. <laughs> the very first day when you saw that there was a deaf girl, what were you thinking? I mean, 
first I think it's about uh, maybe it's hard for her to study because I mean she can't hear anything. If I cannot hear anything, I will be scary. The first time when I saw her, I felt surprised because I thought that she can what like she's deaf. What's the benefit for her to study English language? She's not gonna talk and she's not gonna hear. But uh, day by day, I start feel I started to feel more comfortable because she she is full of energy, and she feel like she's normal. She's like other guys. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Where are you going, <laughs> So for me, if I cannot hear everybody, probably I will stay at home or that's something maybe like painting or the play the piano uh, play the piano or something. Oh come on, I cannot play piano because I cannot hear. If you felt like this way, deaf people, you not give him any chance to prove themselves in this life. If you say if I was deaf, I would stay at home. I'm not gonna do like this. If anyone heard you that and go to tell some deaf, they will think that they are not full. They have some some parts are missing in their body. For me, I do not have. A, I'm not brave enough. I mean, I will not choose to go to the public to show people that I'm disabled. Cause I do not, you know, I do not like the way like people see me. Like, wow, you're disabled. You're like I, just, you know, I hate that. I'm an ESL teacher, and in my class we have people from all over the world, diverse backgrounds, all kinds of people. And having Ramonda in the class is just another kind of diversity. I was a little bit nervous, but the only thing I was nervous about was if I could remember how to say my name, which is like, like what is, let's say like my name is, and I could do J-E, but I couldn't remember F. So I had to go find out how to do my F. But that didn't matter because she gave me a new name, which is um, Mineral, because I like to collect rocks and fossils. I taught a deaf person once before, but that person just sat in the back of the room and never interacted with the class at all. And Ramonda's been completely different. She's interacted with people, and she has a bright smile on her face, and she's friendly and happy and easygoing. And I haven't had any trouble with her at all. When she's been in group work, she's worked with people in the group, and other people in the group have interacted with her, so everything's going normal. We have the food, I want to be best cook food, I want to help people who have from other countries. She is the pepper. about having her in class? Mm. <laughs> the most funny part is like whenever I want to tell her something because I don't know how to use the American Sign Language so like I try my level best to <laughs> use my own sign language to talk to her and sometimes when she got it she she got it the wrong way and have to say no no I have to wave all the way like this and <laughs> I have to tell her back all over again, like, if I couldn't even tell her, like, I have to write it down. <laughs> yeah, she helped me a lot in uh, studying some, for example, like a presentation, she helps, she helped me a lot, such as, um, what are you going to say, um, what kind of PowerPoint, how to make it better, and in the other one, some exercise, some assignment, and she helped me a lot, <laughs> and to help me get a great marks, <laughs> actually, yeah.